Tesla's Investor Day kicks off this morning, but if you're a little lost when it comes to the latest technical terms from the automaker, we've got you covered. Our Brad Smith joins us now with a breakdown. Hey, Brad. Hey, thanks so much. Appreciate it, Rochelle. Well, yeah, taking a look at Tesla shares here year to date, up 62%, but all eyes are on this roadmap. As Tesla announces its roadmap for the future, here's a ludicrous mode view of some of the key words. First, Let's start with FSD. Let's get the first flashy term out of the way. Full self-driving is what FSD is. The company said during its Q4 2022 earnings call, with respect to autopilot, as of now, they deployed full self-driving beta to, for city streets, roughly 400,000 customers in North America. Now, this they marked as a huge milestone for autonomy, as full self-driving beta is the only way any consumer can actually test the latest AI-powered autonomy. So it's currently at about 100 million miles of FSD outside of highways, they mentioned as well. And some of their data that they've published shows that there's improvement in some of the safety statistics there. And one thing that is clear, they probably would not have released that FSD beta if safety statistics were not excellent. So that is something that the company continues to talk about, but it comes with a price tag. And a lot of customers out there are going to be keeping close tabs on when that price tag may start to abate. But $15,000 continues to be that ballpark that a lot of the analysts out there are basically baking in there. All right, so that's FSD. Now we got to talk about 4680, all right? This is the battery. The battery competition is booming right now and arguably the biggest selling factor in the EV adoption cycle as consumers evaluate vehicle options on criteria, including the best charge and the range. Tesla's 4680 name, that battery name is a nod to the 46 millimeter diameter and an 80 millimeter height. It is 5X, the 2170 battery cell. That was the byproduct of Tesla and Panasonic's venture. And 4680 cells, they reached 1,000 cars a week at the end of last year. They're also increasing that capacity for 4680 cells by another 100 gigawatt hours, as announced at Giga Nevada, uh, Giga Nevada, I should say. And the company has also received some praise from analysts for slashing the costs to produce this battery. But one of the costs to keep an eye on is lithium. CFO Zach Kirkhorn has said of this, they're not fully exposed to lithium prices, but they think in general, as what we've seen from their forecast, their cost per lithium per car in 2023 going to be higher than in 2022. So that's still a headwind that would have to be overcome to return back to those levels. They're also going to be investing $3.6 billion more to continue growing Giga Nevada, adding 3,000 new team members and two new factories as well here. And so just moving right along here as you're taking a look at some of those uh, terminologies and the glossary terms on your screen. I'm going to jump ahead here and we're going to go to hardware. Let's get to hardware because this is important and particularly hardware three, four, five. Now, this is what a lot of people are going to be listening for as it relates to the Cybertruck. Cybertruck is going to have hardware for Elon Musk has said. And to be clear for 2023, it's not going to be a significant contributor to the bottom line. Elon Musk has also noted as well there. So that is one thing to pay close attention to. But hardware three, currently exceeding some of the safety averages um, for the average human, as Elon Musk has talked about as well. And then just zooming right along here, let's talk about the dojo. Now, this is where things really get interesting. And if you hear anything about the dojo, do not be concerned. This is what the supercomputer of the future could look like for Tesla. As they define it, the dojo essentially is this supercomputer built from the ground up, AI machine learning baked in. And video training, it also uses the video data coming in from its fleet of vehicles. And so they're going to be using this potentially even offered as a service in the future as well. And more specifically, to auto label videos when they ingest all of that data as well into their neural nets for self-driving system. And then just lastly here, as we hustle to the finish, I just love looking at Optimus sometimes, quite frankly. And we'll see if we get any more information about this humanoid robot, Optimus. Friendly little fellow, 5758. Michelle. Well, there you have it. Thinking of master plan with our very own Brad Smith. Thank you for that breakdown.